And guys, welcome still to Sierra Leone. And I say that because I'm introducing this um, this series called Bonus Stupid Footage, where I'm just gonna film a bunch of stuff in my experience for the two days that I'm here that I wasn't supposed to be here because I ended up... What's up, brother? How's your day, good? Good, man, good morning. It's just really hot. <laughs> it's always hot, right? Yeah, cool, cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, I always enjoy it. I love Sierra Leone. Yeah, I just wish that we had some power right now, but it's all good. See you, man. Take care, brother. Yep. So, yeah, I was supposed to go home yesterday, and guess what? I missed my flight. <laughs> God, I feel so stupid, and it's embarrassing, but I missed my flight by, like, literally 15 minutes. I got to the airport, and I didn't have my digital boarding pass, and then I also wasn't able to sign in uh, at the desk. They closed the counters, and, and uh, no offense to Sierra Leone, but, like, the customer service in the airport was god-awful. Like, nobody helped me, and everybody, like, didn't give a shit at all. And <laughs> so I got stuck here. I had to buy a new flight. It is what it is. It's a learning lesson. But I'm here now in Sierra Leone for another two days. And, uh... The girl that you've been seeing in the videos, Miss Siri, she's still with me because I sent her away um, with money and everything and she ended up jumping on the ferry. But then she came back for me and we're hanging out for a few more days and, and that's awesome. That's really a beautiful thing from God and she's here with me and we're just going to hang out and take care of each other. Until I leave, I'll make sure I catch my flight. But everything happens for a reason, I suppose. But I'm here near the airport in whatever section of Sierra Leone that is. Hey, buddy. I think it's it's called Long Gate or something. Something with an L. But uh, while I'm here, of course, I have to make a video. So I figured I'd, I'd keep it rolling to the best of my ability. But yeah, dude, I missed a flight and I'm in Sierra Leone for another freaking three days. And uh, I love this country. I love the experience. But I'm starting to miss home and stuff like that. But we're just going to film film stuff here I'm here in a hotel and this part of Sierra Leone doesn't have elect government electricity so all day there's it's so hot and at night they use a generator so that kind of sucks but uh yeah that's what's going on so this video is just gonna be a whole bunch of stupidness and we'll film right hmm right So that's what we'll do, and uh, yeah, I just took a shower, but I'm already so goddamn hot, so we'll film whatever. We're just gonna hang out and make sure I don't miss my flight in another day, and that's it. This is Sierra Leone for two more days. I'm stuck. What's up, hey, man? Yeah. Fine? Yeah. I'm doing good, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Now we gotta go to the ATM and get money, because I ran out. I didn't plan to be here another two days. I gotta pay for a hotel, then I gotta buy other stuff. Sierra Leone is this Long Gay? Yeah, no. Long Gay. Yeah, it's nice, it's cool, but they just don't have electricity all day. Only at night time, right? So you can see how people live here. It's a lot less quiet than Freetown, but it's kind of relaxing. I like it. Grab it. You ready? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop it again. Okay. Okay. So apparently they have an ATM machine in here, which is cool. I need it because I'm broke. Right. So let me shut it off and I'll try to get some money. So here we are eating sardine sandwiches waiting for my bank to open so i can have them unblock my card so i can take money out <laughs> and then i can survive in sierra leone for another two days so guys i'm in the old airport here in sierra leone and apparently this is where i'm supposed to come and take money out of the atm this is the only place where they have money left. The ATM at the other bank doesn't work. I called my bank and the bank said my card is fine. It's the ATM machine. 
and now I have to travel all the way to Freetown just to use a working ATM machine. So if you learn anything from this failed vlog, don't ever run out of money in Sierra Leone or don't miss your flight because taking money out in this country is almost impossible. I, I literally have to take a boat over the harbor to Freetown to find a working ATM machine. It's like crazy. So me and K-Man, my driver, he's been hanging out with me for like five hours and I'll pay him good. But in this whole part of Sierra Leone, they have no working ATM machines at all, none. So you have to go to the capital, which is like two hours to get to. And then if that works out, whoa, <laughs> dude, I almost fell off. You'll be all good. Let's go. And then you guys are probably wondering why can't I get money at the new airport? So I came at a tricky time. Sierra Leone is creating a new airport right now. And they just opened up the new airport. When I arrived in Sierra Leone, I came into the old terminal. And now I'm leaving through the new terminal. And the new terminal doesn't have an ATM machine yet. The bank here in this part of Sierra Leone's ATM does not work. And the ATM machine in the old airport, they just took out. So for this short duration of time, there is no ATM machine. So in the future, you'd be able to go to the, to the airport and get it. I'm just in a screwed up situation. So I have like a hundred Leones on me, but that's really not a lot of money. So yeah, now we need to go to Freetown, take out money, come back, take a speedboat both ways. Blah, 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 blah. I think I need to buy some whiskey and an energy drink and I might have enough money for that, so I should be all good. But uh, yep. So this is where we have to take a speedboat to Freetown and back for an ATM machine. We're in the middle of the harbor on a speedboat. Middle of the harbor on a speedboat. The engine has died for the third time. And I have to cross to Freetown just to use a working ATM machine. Okay, here we go. We don't need this one now. We don't? We're getting soaking wet. Jesus. Unbelievable. Just want to make it to three towns so I can get money and then apparently come back and I don't even know. Jesus Christ. And where's the ATM? There's no ATM. Yeah, he did it on purpose to get more money. So where's the ATM? So we just had this guy bring us to the middle of Freetown where there's no ATM. This is so stupid. So guys, by the grace of God, I was able to find an ATM and take out a lot of money. So I'm finally okay. So now we can go back to the Air Long Gay and stay there. But we had to come to Freetown to get money out of the ATM. And I took out more than enough money, so I'm fine. You want to buy food and bring it all the way to home? Say something to the world. What's up, guys? How Don't be you? shy on How camera. My name is Doga. So I'm saying I'm looking for LFP. I live in Sierra Leone. So I met my I met my brother named Chris. I met my uh -huh. brother Chris. Uh -huh. Come and find us in Sierra Leone. Yeah. So that's why I'm speaking. So I'm watching for L. You guys are great brothers, like everybody in Sierra Leone. Yes. Everybody is so good here. Yes. Let yes. me talk to the camera and update them on my life. I'll be right back. Yes. So guys, we're now in Freetown. We came here and we successfully took out money, a lot of money actually, 
and, but now we can't make it back to Longay because the ferry stopped working. So Masiri's on the phone trying to have them watch my stuff in the other hotel while we get a hotel out here. Life is just crazy in Sierra Leone. But thank God everything seems to be working out. I believe in life, everything works out in life. I really believe that. And I don't, I'm not mad that I missed my flight. It, I think it was meant to be. It kind of sucks. But um, Sierra Leone is a beautiful country. And this is just a bloopers video. This is our screw up. And um, it's, it's insane. Masiri, did you tell K-Men we're good? Yes, Kema is okay. So we're fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so now my stuff's being washed in a hotel. We have to stay here. Don't ever miss a flight. But yeah, this is Sierra Leone. I love free. So guys, I'm in Sierra Leone. And this is the police officer. He doesn't want to talk. Tell the world that you want tourism to come here. You do, right? Of course. Yeah. He's a very nice man and the police keep Sierra Leone safe and he says that he wants tourism here, right? The more tourism, the better for Sierra Leone, right? Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. I hope the whole world sees our video. But yeah, very nice. How you kids doing? Good? Cool. Awesome. The kids are the best part of Sierra Leone. Yeah. <laughs> yes, first time. I've been here three weeks. Uh -huh. This is your first time? First time. But I missed my flight. So now I had to come back to Freetown to go to an ATM to get money. So life is stressful, you know? Yeah, it's crazy, but it's all good. But I'm glad to come to your country and be a tourist. Sierra Leone is very safe and nice. Thank you guys so much for meeting me and talking to the camera. All right? Yeah. Anytime. You guys are great. Do you want to stay here? Tomorrow we go. So the bar is the price. How much? If you say you want to go to that. We could sleep there. Yeah? I guess. It's kind of dodgy. You want to stay there? Anytime you want to go. But the guest house, they'll let you stay for a good price, right? For a good price. Because the woman there is talking about 200000 It's been a whole day event just to get money and when we came to Sierra Freetown we got stuck. Just a crazy place. Masiri thinks Freetown is crazy. Freetown is insane, yeah? Jesus Christ. But well, whatever, I bought some shoes and some jeans for pretty cheap, so that's kind of cool. I wanted to... Masiri, I wanted to film those kids, but the police officer said don't do it. It's dangerous. Whoa. The street kids, I wanted to film them, but the police said no. Not outside, you have to pull your camera to make video. I like to make video. Because the boys are dangerous. Okay, guys, it's dangerous, so I'm gonna put the camera away. Guys, we're still in Freetown. We're gonna go over to Longay on the bridge. All I can say is, man, I'm gonna miss Sierra Leone so much. I love this beautiful country and the chaos of Freetown. I can never stop filming here. It's just too interesting and intriguing. There's so much life in the streets. I find that I can't capture enough here. So, I'm not upset that I missed my flight. It's kind of nice because I get to experience more of Sierra Leone and I got to buy more things that I wanted to buy. So now I have more time. Look at the streets here in the chaos. Sierra Leone is just such a beautiful country and I love it so much. 
and I think all the countries in Africa are so interesting. And I really hope to return one day. You will probably see how hard I'm sweating right now. We're headed to the ferry now. We're trying to. Crazy traffic in Freetown. This is what made me miss my flight in the first place. What's up, brother? Are you on the bike good? No, but you know the clear. Let us pass here. What's up, brother? I don't talk to the man. I don't talk to an agent. This is Freetown, Sierra Leone. Anyway, this is Freetown. Let's say goodbye to this beautiful place. We're out of here. Guys, I'm going to miss you really. And this is a busy street where everybody wants to make some money and sell things. Hello. 
We have the policeman. We have this man. We have so much stuff here in Sierra Leone. So much chaoticness happening constantly. Thank you, thank you. I'm right at the bond. See, I may have missed my flight, but did I really miss anything in life? Because I ended up seeing this more days, and this culture is mind-blowing. So I'm, I'm happy. somebody do you want to come with me you want to come or you want to stay hmm? he has to watch the bike you want to stay with him I'll be okay yeah you promise yes okay hold on I come back I come back stay yo brother how are you I'm Chris Yes, Good, I wanted to film this. What is this? This is a, a robbers, robbers. Tell me about it. The robbers will sell you it. have something on your head, so I don't want to interview you. Yes. Are you sure you want to walk with me? Yes, I want to walk with you. Hold on. I need to go on. Yes, sir. Come How are you here. guys? Come over here. Come over here. Because come over here. Come over here. Smoke. This is dangerous. Yes. What do you guys do here? Holy shit, this is insane. Oh my god. You work hard here. Babe, babe, you shouldn't be here. Go, go, go back. Go over there. Go back. No, this is the smoke. It's okay, I'm a man. I can take it. How are you? Yeah, fine. Yes. What is this place? What are you guys doing here? Yeah, um, yeah it's a who can switch This us. is crazy. Yes, who can film I love YouTube. you guys. I'm Chris. Yes, I just want to film it. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber from the United States. All right, okay. It's very dangerous conditions. Yeah, we, we, Can we, I see more? Please, yeah, I yeah, want to see yeah, more. Yeah, Show, yeah, me yeah, more. Yes, yes, Show me more. Go, 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 Show me more. Holy go, shit. Go, 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 go. How are no, you, not so you say one thing. Yeah, you have to stop here now. Stop, huh? stop, stop here now. Watch, you, you, watch can, you, now. you can see now. The fire. Go here, yeah? There are some areas that you cannot. Just show me. Uh, yeah, it's very dangerous. I, I just want to see can, it. You can you tell me this paper For five minutes, I want to see it. Yes. You can find So the trash money. you burn stuff to make money, right? Yes, you want to make money. So find things to leave. You got the fire. Oh, okay. the fire. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to. Who wants to show me around? I'm going to give you money. Just show me for five minutes and then we leave. Why is it all on fire? This is this is the most crazy shit I've ever seen in my life. Why are you guys burning it? God, this is so sad. I'll be okay. No, man. 
This is sad. You guys shouldn't have to work like this. This is very dangerous. This is very dangerous. You guys shouldn't have to work like this. It's unbelievable. It pisses me off that you have to work like this, my friend. Look at this. But I filmed a lot of nice things in Sierra Leone. It's not only bad things, but this is interesting to me. There's a... Wow. This is so... Hi there. This is so crazy. This is the most insane shit I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. This is all the dumping grounds. Wow. I've never seen anything like it in my life. What is your name? My name is Ibrahim. I'm Chris. Thank you for showing me around. Just show me a little bit more. And then I'm going to take you guys back because I want to give you money, but I don't want everybody to see it, okay? Yeah. What are they doing here? I know they didn't have the bus on. So this is the dumping ground for the trash. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People come here for opportunities in the trash, right? Oh my lord. Very not safe. You shouldn't be breathing this every day. You know that, right? Yes, sir. You should not. Oh my. Wow. Let us first here. Let us first here. Fire. 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 Yeah. Okay, tell me where there's no fire. Thank you, brothers. Okay. I'm able to control you. I'm watching. Thank you. You watch me wow. outside. This is insane. Yeah. But it, it upsets me that you guys have to do this for money because yes. there should be more job opportunities for you folks. I passed this place, I thought it was interesting and I wanted to stop. What's up? What's up? Flow in here. Mm. What up? Flexy water. Holy crap. Flexy water. Flowing. Thank you for the logo soon. Okay. This is just so interesting that I'm like so intrigued that I keep going in. I'm sure I could potentially be in danger, but and a really real way i trust these guys they seem like they're very genuine and uh jesus be burned. Yeah. Oh. so you guys burn all the trash yes, but burn. you take whatever you can burn. brother i'm Fire. gonna i'm gonna get out of here okay. this is not go. good now go. Logo, logo. yeah nice to meet you man let us go back home. let us go back home let us go back this is a, a good interview wow like yeah this is done yeah i get it give me but thank you for showing me hey take them i will thank you again brother you yeah, guys nice are very nice to me yes sir i'm gonna i'm gonna take care of you just up here yes, sir. okay because yeah. everybody here needs money and i can't help yeah. everyone i wish i could i really do this is just unbelievable that people have to live and work yeah, like don't this don't hmm? yeah come hello brother Thank you for allowing me in here and showing me how you guys work. Yes, this is hard work and I don't think anybody should be working like this at all, really. Yes. Unbelievable. Photo? I'm, I'm filming everything. Yeah, I'm filming everything, man. I'm really glad I met you because this is a life experience. Five money. I have money. I, I have money. I'm gonna give it to you. Don't worry. Yeah. Up here. Yeah, just follow, just bring me out. Okay, it's okay. okay. Thank you for showing me. Yeah. Okay. Do people live here? Yeah. My God. Unbelievable. No, no, These conditions are very bad. You know? Hi, sir. Are you okay? Good for good gig. Okay, that's good. Hi, sir. Wow. Wow, look at these kids. Who's who's taking care of these kids? Whose kids are these? Luca, Charlie. Who where's the mom? Luca. The mom? Here. Charlie. This is for you, for the kids. Okay? No problem. 
I'm sorry to film. I'm just very interested. I hope you have a, a great day. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah. They shouldn't be living like that, these kids. Jesus Christ. This is your brother. Yeah. This is your What's up, brother? You look real strong, man. You look strong. You work out. <laughs> nice. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Thank you for working so hard. Okay? God bless you, brother. Thank you. Hello, brother. The kids, the kids should not be here at all. It should be only adults. And, and really, it shouldn't even be adults. Unbelievable. Aisha, no do I couch you? Uh huh. Yeah, let's go up. Uh, logo, logo, not good. I just thought yeah. this. Yeah. Aleka, here come. I thought this was so interesting. I had to film it. It was just too interesting. Logo, not get some. Come here. Where's where's my girl? Thank you guys. Brothers. This is my, brother. my younger brothers. brothers. Thank you very much. You guys split that, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, there you are. Thank you very much. God bless you and thank you for showing me. I understand that life here is hard in yes, Africa. Man. But promise me you guys are gonna do better. I don't want you living like this. I want you to do better tomorrow. I know it's not so much up to you, but please do okay. God bless you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. needed a doc to be documented you know this is the point where they harass yeah, yeah, you for yeah. the, the boat but we know what we're doing this is a stranger, yeah. huh? even a stranger this is my brother here just brought us over to the boat he's a great guy and he wants to say something to the world about Sierra Leone brother it's all you Speak louder, I want them to hear you, I'm sorry. We use Valley Am to advocate in your place. Uh-huh. Um so you say you can join us today um for you to know much about Australian. This what this what you do Australian here. You're a very good guy. Yeah, for us yeah, we are bike riders. Others are drivers. Uh, here is the last point to uh, the Lugue point. Mm -hmm. um, I, Thank you, man. Uh, I can't, I'm can't so glad I met you. It was a pleasure. Okay. You're a great guy. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to cut you short. What else? I'm going to go, but what else? Okay, okay. Come to Sierra Leone, right? Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, man. I love you, man. You take care, brother. All right. Thank you for driving us here. Yeah. So guys, this is the official ferry terminal and the whole time I've been crossing, I haven't been taking the official ferry. I've been using bootleg sort of transportation. But this is the actual official transportation, which is kind of cool. So I'm excited. It should be a lot of one's dead. It's dead. So guys, this is the actual official ferry over to Long Gay. Look how cool this is, guys. It's so official. It's so giant and big. There's multiple decks. No, we have to leave this here. Yeah. Guys, look at this. We're going to cross the beautiful harbor all the way to Long Gate. First class in Sierra Leone. Look at this beautiful place. Everybody's just hanging out and having so much fun. And you have people selling things, really nice things. 
I'm so excited to be up here. It's such a blessing. I this. You need this too. Uh, you definitely need this. So guys, the boat is finally moving. So nice. It doesn't even feel like you're moving on a boat now. Oh my God, guys, I love it. Check this out. <laughs> we'll be there in no time. Beautiful first class light. I'm leaving Freetown. Hopefully I catch my flight tomorrow. If I don't, I'll be screwed. But yeah, this is it. This is beautiful Sierra Leone. Highly recommend coming here. I love this country so much. Love it here. Guys, look at Freetown all the way in the in history in the past. I love this place. I can't believe it. It's gone. It's in the past. Wow. Life is crazy, huh? Okay guys, we just took the ferry from Freetown and we thought we wouldn't run into Cayman, but he's here. Yeah, the whole yeah. freaking time. Yeah. This is Cayman, yeah, man. Yeah. This is the man, the best taxi in all of Sierra Leone. Yeah, much Let's go, go much Cayman. Go. Let's go, brother. That ferry was a lot of fun. <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure, huh? I was literally saying, how are we going to call Cayman? But guess what? He's standing here. Yeah, yeah. He's waiting here with a giant hug that I wish I recorded. Amazing, yeah? yeah? We have everything planned out here in Sierra Leone. The ferry was so much nicer too, brother. Ah. Than the speedboat. The speedboat almost made us sick. The speedboat is crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah, but... But the ferry was real nice no, though. You can't even nice. tell it's moving. after all the traveling in Sierra Leone I'm finally taking Air Senegal home I'm so sad to leave a Siri the girl that's been with me the whole time super depressed but this is life when you travel I'm ready to go home I have a long two days before I make it back and I just miss a Siri but what an adventure it's guys been. how's everybody doing welcome back to the United States Sierra Leone changed my life. Obviously, I'm no longer there. I flew a ton of ways across the big Atlantic Ocean to New York City, and now I'm in the dead center, the middle of North American continent. But I wanted to make this bonus footage at home and just give my perspective on Sierra Leone and add this little clip in. It was by far the most fascinating part of the world I've ever been to. Um, it took me many years until I was able to travel to Africa and in particular sub-Saharan Africa, but I always had a fascination to that region. I don't know why. It's some spiritual connection I suppose I have, but it, it truly is a fascinating place and I love Sierra Leone so much. It changed my life. It was an incredible adventure and there was so much that I experienced in Sierra Leone that I didn't capture. I it was, The days were filled with fun and adventure and hanging out and meeting so many people on the streets that it would have been worth making a video with just those interactions. And um, I regret not seeing some things. I was quite busy. I was in Freetown and I wanted so bad to see the museum, the National Museum of Sierra Leone history. I know so much about their history from their foundation to 
to so much of their history. I just love Sierra Leone. I read about West Africa and that country all the time. And um, I seen their cotton tree in the capital of Freetown, which was beautiful. I didn't film it because I went there at night. I seen all their governmental buildings. Incredible, incredible experience, really. I miss the food, the heat and the climate I wasn't too used to because I'm not from Africa. So I was so hot sometimes I felt like I wanted to pass out. And when I'm really hot, sometimes I lose my appetite. But now I'm back in the cold climate and I keep thinking about the, the bread and the eggs and the mayonnaise they make, which was so good and crazy cheap. And um, the cassava and the rice and the fried chicken was so good. and just everything they sell the spaghetti the um what was the name of that one thing the couscous like all the food is so phenomenal god i feel like i want to fly back there right now just to eat that food again but i recommend going to sierra leone obviously um sierra leone like most of the world especially africa has had a a, a rough past more recently than than some other parts of the world they had a really bad civil war but that was over 20 30 years ago and quite frankly things change really quick and i consider um at least sierra leone i haven't been everywhere in africa incredibly safe they have street justice if you steal anything they're gonna beat you up <laughs> And there's no crime and, and people are great and nice. I, I love my country of the United States. It's my beloved country, but I feel like we're more dangerous here, to be honest. I recommend tourism to Sierra Leone. It's an incredible time. There's so much clothes and jewelry that you could buy in the marketplace. Everybody's so nice. You will have the time of your life. But there is challenges in Sierra Leone. Um, for three weeks, I pretty much showered with a bucket over my head. Now that's not everywhere in Sierra Leone. I just am cheap and wanted to save money, so I got cheap hotels. You could get very nice expensive hotels, but not me, I don't wanna pay all that money. But there's a lot of luxury and nice things in Sierra Leone. But I like to have basic experiences so I can connect with people and really feel what the population feels on a daily basis. And and there is struggles there. For a long time, we didn't have electricity. <laughs> and um, I showered with a bucket over my head. It was so hot. I wanted to pass out sometimes. And, and the chaos and the frustration when I missed my flight, which is completely my fault. But um, despite all those challenges, those things that we can we would consider a challenge in, in these parts of the world, in the Western countries, really you'd think it's a it's a bad experience, but it's not. I had so much fun. Everybody's so nice and social and connected. In the village, they killed a chicken for me. We just hung out, and I swear to God, I was so much happier there. Everybody just, it, they have so much fun. They might not have a lot in certain places, but everybody gets along. Everybody hangs out. Everybody just has fun, and they just, they just hang out as a family and friends all day. And I'm back here, and it's like... We're pretty isolated in this country. Sometimes we don't even talk to our neighbors anymore. And I can go on a tangent about this, but just know that that Sierra Leone changed my life. And I'm so grateful to all the people that I met. Thank you for inviting me into your country. I hope to come back. I have to save some money now, so it might not be next next month. But uh, I definitely wanna go back to that region of the world. West Africa is fascinating to me. And thank you all for watching my channel. I love Sierra Leone and I encourage you to go there as well. Thanks guys. So guys, I'm almost done with my African vlog. I'm sitting here in my apartment and a few more things came to my mind and I feel like they deserve an expression real quick. The best part about Sierra Leone is just the children. You could sit in a village in a chair and like 25 kids surround you and they're so cute and they want to take pictures and they are so innocent and happy. Probably the most innocent and happy people on the face of the earth. Not only the kids, everybody. And uh, what else was I going to say? And then the dancing over there, the culture of dancing. I feel like I'm back and all I want to do is dance. And the music is like the best music in the world. Like I love listening to African music and the dancing and everything. And there's one thing before I let you go. There is one aspect of Sierra Leone that is dangerous. So before you go, you might want to consider this, okay? That is the mosquitoes. 
Yes, the mosquitoes are killer, dude. Like, if anything's going to kill you in Sierra Leone, it's probably going to be the mosquitoes. I came back, my legs looked like they were in a war zone. And I use bug spray every day. They don't care. Those bugs, they just go through bug spray. They don't, they're just crazy. So don't worry about the people when you go to Sierra Leone, but you might want to consider the mosquitoes. That's all I got to say. If anything comes to mind whatever but i i love that country and i love that part of the world and africa for life africa's incredible i can't wait to go back to africa i'm obsessed with it it's my new obsession it's my new addiction so give me like three four months i gotta make some money pay some bills and then we are going back to africa i don't know where we're going but we're going i want to travel the world but i definitely want to go everywhere in africa so thank you guys for watching i love everybody I hope I make your day with these videos, and you guys have a blessed day, night. Thank you again, guys. Take care.